Today I am going to explain about interfacing of analog to digital converter to HRO86 microprocessor through programmable peripheral interface 8255 PPI. So first we will see that the pin diagram of this analog to digital converter. The IC number of this ADC is 0808. So for this ADC 0808 we have totally 28 pins. In this total 28 pins we have 8 analog input pins are there. So here we have that 8 analog input pins are there. So there is nothing but IP0 to IP7. So for this 8 analog inputs we can give 8 analog inputs. So that is nothing but for example here for the pin 1 we can give that temperature sensor input and here pressure sensor here we have humidity so like that for these 8 analog inputs we can give that analog signals and next here this analog to digital converter that is it will take that analog input as a input and next uh, it will convert into that digital form so here it will give that uh, digital output on the pins from pin number 17 to pin number 21 and uh, pin number 8 here we have and uh, pin number 14 and here we have pin number 15 so these pins uh, will get that the conversion of uh, analog information to digital that will be available on these pins that is uh, here we have output 0th pin to output 7th pin so here this is the pins 17 18 19 20 21 pin and here pin number 8 and here pin number 14 pin number 15 so here this 17th pin is representing that lsb of that uh, digital data and here this pin number 21 representing that msb of that digital data so here these pins are the input pins these pins are the output pins and here this soc and evoc these are these are nothing but start of conversion and end of conversion that is when this adc receives that signal that is soc then it start converting that analog to digital information and after converting of this analog information to digital it sends one signal that is the evoc then that representing that end of conversion and next one here we have that output enable this is nothing but enabling of this this adc 0808 and here we have the vcc is there this vcc is nothing but plus 5 volts and generally for a analog to digital converter here we require a reference voltage that reference voltage will be given to that pin number 12 of this adc and here this is the pin number 13 that is the ground here we have and uh, another one is there that is the uh, v reference minus that is the pin number 16 generally this v reference minus is a, a ground one and uh, next one here we have the three lines are there pin number 25 24 and 23 and here we have the pin numbers 25 24 and 23 so these lines are the simply we can say that the address lines which are used to select that one of the analog input of this ADC 0808 that is if ABC are 000 there is a pin number 26 there is a analog input 08 one is selected if it is uh, 100 there is the IP1 will be selected if it is a 010 then IP2 will be selected so like that by using these three lines there is ABC lines we can select that particular uh, analog input and next this is the clock so the same as that processor uh, clock the same clock will be given to this ADC 0808 so this is about that a simple pin diagram of this ADC analog to digital converter now we will see that the interfacing of ADC to 86 microprocessor through A255 so here if you see this one the interfacing diagram here we have ADC 0808 is there and this is the programmable peripheral interface if you see this one for selection of uh, one analog input uh, we are using that address lines ABC address lines so these ABC address lines are connected to A255 port B so here these port B signals of A255 they are acting like output port so when port B is acting as output port then by using this port B we can select the particular analog input of this ADC 0808 so for example here uh, analog input 2 is selected that is nothing but here we have 0 1 0 so this port B pins are acting as a output port pins so that the analog input 2 is selected and here generally this V reference minus here we have 
this is the minus so this v reference minus generally grounded and v reference plus is given to plus 5 volts and we know that already that vcc is given as a plus 5 volts and here the digital data which is available at uh, output 0th pin to output 7th pin so this is connected to port a of uh, this uh, a255 so here this port a is acting as a input port and here port b is acting as a output port and next one for start of conversion for start of conversion we are using that port c lower as a output port and for end of conversion here this port c upper is acting as a input port so port c upper is acting as a input port port c lower is acting as a output port so here this soc is nothing but start of conversion which is uh, coming from this a to double five to adc that is um, for a given analog input voltage for a given analog input voltage it will convert that into a digital data so for this one we have to give a signal that is soc then it starts converting that analog to digital information after converting that analog information digital this adc 0808 will sense that end of uh, conversion so that the interrupt will be generated to the 8086 microprocessor then it reads that uh, this digital data through port a and here we have the chip select is there this chip select is used to enable this a255 ppi and here we have address latch enable and uh, uh, output enable is there these are given to that uh, plus 5 volts which are used to enable this ADC 0808 and here we have A1 and A2 pins are there these are used to select that particular control word register or port A or port B or port C so for this purpose we will use these two address lines A1 and A2 and here we have D0 to D7 which are connected to that 8086 microprocessor so through this this 8086 microprocessor reads the data from port A and here we have the reset is there and uh, when this 8086 microprocessor doing read or write operation according to that one we will use this IO read bar and IO write bar so like this uh, here this 8086 microprocessor reads the digital data from port A which is coming from that uh, ADC 0808 there is nothing but this ADC is converting that analog to digital information here we are not writing any program to convert that analog information to digital information so here just this ADC is controlling by this 8086 microprocessor so that according to this analog input this ADC will convert that into digital information so the available different digital information is uh, read by this 8086 microprocessor so that is going on here here this processor will not convert that analog to digital information that ADC will convert that analog information to digital information that digital information will be read by this 8086 microprocessor so now we will see that the interfacing diagram so before the before going to that program here we will see that some specifications of this ADC 0808 so here the start of conversion pulse will be 100 nanoseconds and uh, address latch enable pulse width will be 100 nanoseconds clock frequency will be varied from 10 to 1280 kHz and the conversion time nearly 100 milliseconds and a resolution that is nothing but 8 bit that for a given analog input it will convert that into 8 bit output and here the error will be plus or minus 1 LSB and V reference plus generally plus 5 volts that is not more than plus 5 volts and V reference minus not less than ground that generally it will be make it as a ground and next one is that VCC supply that is the plus 5 volts here we have to give and for logical one input voltage it will be minimum of VCC minus 1.5 volts and for logical zero input voltage it will be the maximum of 1.5 volts and for logical output voltage it will be minimum of VCC minus 0.4 volts and for logical zero output voltage it will be the maximum of 0.45 volts so these are the some specifications of this analog to digital converter 0808 so now we will see that this program here so here already we discussed that port B acting as a output port and port A acting as a input port and port C upper is acting as a input port and port C lower is acting as a output port so according to these uh, port functionality here we have to write the control word so here this is the control word here this will be loaded into control word register of this 8255 here d7 bit is 1 representing that uh, 
Eight to double five mode of operation is uh, I/O mode of operation. D6 D5 are zero. That is a uh, port A in mode zero operation. And here this D4 bit is one. That is nothing but port A is acting as a input port. And here D3 is representing that uh, port C upper. So here it is one. One is representing that uh, port C upper as a input port. And D2 bit representing the zero. That is the port B in mode zero operation. And D1 representing that here zero. Nothing but port B is a output port here uh, again d0 bit is zero nothing but port c lower is as a output port generally one representing that input port and zero representing that output port and these two bits are used to setting the mode of operation of port a and port b so zero zero nothing but port a in mode zero and here d2 is zero nothing but port b in mode zero so one zero zero one representing that nine And one zero zero representing that eight. So here the control word will be equal to ninety eight H. So now we will see this one. So these two instructions are used to set the mode of operation of this eight two double five. So as we discussed above here we have. And next here, uh, move L comma zero to H, out port B comma L. That is nothing but port B value will be equal to here we have port B zero. Port B pins we are using zero, zero eighth pin, first pin and second pin. On this one we are sending that zero to, so nothing but zero one zero we are sending for these pins port B pins. So what happened here that analog input two will be selected when you are writing that zero two here. So after that here we are writing that move L comma zero zero H. Out port C comma L. So here, this representing that start of conversion here up to this part. There is a start of conversion here we have. So up to this part. So here we are sending that SOC pulse. Here we have to send. So move L comma zero zero H out to port C comma L. That is port C comma L is nothing but port C lower we are using. Out to port C comma L nothing but here we are using that port C lower as a output port. So the value of zero zero will be sent to that uh, port C lower. So again we are writing that uh, move L comma zero one H out to port C comma L. Again we are writing that uh, move L comma zero zero H and out port C comma L. Nothing but we will send a a start pulse that is SOC. This is zero. First we are sending zero here. This is the zero. And next we are sending one. There is nothing but here we have zero one. And after that again we are sending the zero. There is nothing but here zero. So every time the L value is changing from zero zero to zero one. After that again we are doing that zero zero. So here representing that start of conversion pulse we are sending to the ADC zero eight zero eight. So up to this part we are sending that SOC pulse to that ADC now. Uh, when receiving that SOC pass, this ADC will convert that analog information to digital information. So next one here we have we have in L comma port C, in L comma port C. So rotate through carry, jump if no carry then wait. That is nothing but this representing that end of conversion pulse EOC. That is. From port C upper, from port C upper, if any value will be loaded into AL, then if there is no carry, then it will wait for EOC pulse. So till that it will wait. So after this EOC pulse, after receiving that EOC pulse, that is, if any carry found, then what happened? It comes out from this loop. And it reads the data from port A. That is, from port A, the data will be loaded into AL register. That is nothing but here we have that digital information will be loaded into AL register. So like this, this 8086 microprocessor reads the digital data from the port A. So at the port A, the digital data is available by the ADC 0808. Okay, so here the first one is uh, setting that uh, mode of operation of A two double five, and next we are selecting the analog input two here. 
for this purpose we are using this one and next up to this part we are sending that soc pulse up to this part and next we are receiving that eoc pulse for these three lines of program and last one we are reading that data from the port a so like this we'll interface this edc to edge rate 6 microprocessor through integrated bus pipe so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education